It's the Tony Rose Morning Show on D93, and we are joined by one of the all-time good guys in Hollywood, even though he did play one of the bad guys in our all-time favorite Christmas movie. Uh, just but a, a true saint, uh, the one and only Daniel Stern, and his new memoir, Home and Alone, is out. Good morning, and congratulations on the release of this book, my friend. Thank you so much, Tony. Thanks for having me on. Can you believe I wrote a book? And you know that what? Big dummy can write. And you know <laughs> what? I, and and uh, it is it is a brilliant read, and it is uh, a story, I think, that so many of us have wanted to know. When did you know it was time to kind of put pen to paper and tell us uh, and tell us your life and put your life in, in, in words like this? The, the first thing was, I mean, I, I think when I... I when I turned 65, I think I kind of, you know, and I had grandkids and all that, I needed to write it down for myself. It yeah. didn't even start off as a book. I just needed to, like, what happened? How did I get here? How have I been so lucky yeah. and fortunate? And so it started as that and sort of a legacy for my future grandchildren, great-grandchildren, if they're watching me as Marv in Home yeah. Alone. Hey, there's just a little bit more <laughs> behind that story. This is how me and Grandma... <laughs> uh, got here. And so it was, it started as that. And then I started making myself laugh a little bit when I was remembering some of the stories and I fleshed it out. And then it, 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 it kind of ended up funny. So I showed it to my agent and then they said, well, why don't you try to make it a book? And then I did. And wow. here I am. I mean, it was so, so yeah, it, it, it was fun to, uh, to go on that journey myself. And I hope the reader kind of get some giggles along the way watching me become this thing you know and, and like i said you've brought you've brought so many families so many great memories not you know through all of your work over the years uh and of course we all know the home alone fame there uh but i think it's so crucial yeah that you're pre preserving those memories for the generations of your family family to come as well and that's one thing you know, I follow you on social media. I see how I see how important family is to you across the board, not only with your with your son, but of course your 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 uh, grandkids as well, and and yeah. what you're doing now. And I think this is such a great tribute to them. What what's what's some of the stories that you tell us in the book that we may not see coming? I, I know uh, obviously from the Home Alone world, but just some other stories in there as well that'll really make our eyebrows raise up. Well, there's some, you know, it's been, it's been a, I mean, it's all a roller coaster. So, yeah. I mean, I, I do take you to some of those fun movies of the city slickers learning to ride a horse and <laughs> the home alone with the spider on the face. But there's also been, you know, um, some challenges of, I, I was on a TV show where I ended up being sued by Columbia television for $25 million dollars which Whoa. sent me into uh, the fetal position for yeah. about uh, six weeks until all that got settled for, and it was a, you know, so that was a weird and, and scary part of my life. There's been some movies, you know, some backstage stuff. I mean, really funny stuff. Me and I did a movie with Robert Redford where Bob and I were zooming down a, a mountainside. <laughs> I was driving his Porsche with just him and me in it at a hundred miles an hour down this uh, you know, mountain road. And the look on Mr. Redford's face is one I'll never forget of abject fear. And like, why did I let this kid drive my car? So, I mean, I, I try to take you inside as well as the yeah. personal journey of, of, uh, you know, how do you raise kids and, and, and kind of learning to stop being in show business, yeah. learning how to live life, without just being in the movies. And I've become, over the last 20 years, I, I'm, I'm a bronze sculptor. I found a whole other career for myself as an artist, as a sculptor for, uh, for various cities. I do big monumental bronze sculptures. So there's a lot of wrinkles that maybe the fans don't know about and i hope find interesting and funny you're a kind soul and uh you're a national treasure and we we thank you for all the memories that you've given us and i can't wait to to share this uh this book uh, home and alone it's out they can grab it at all their major booksellers and retailers right exactly and and also just so you know and your uh, listeners know that i'm giving all the money from the book to the boys and girls club wow. of america 
because part of the book, the, the, the theme of the book is empowered young people, which I was, yeah. and which my movies are about, a lot of them. And so I decided I've given all the money uh, to the Boys and Girls Club. So if you do go to buy the book, you're making a little contribution that way, too. You're a good man, Daniel Stern. Thank you so much for the time, and thank you so much for all the memories that you continue to give us over the years. Continued best of luck and good health to you, my friend. Thanks so much, Tony. I appreciate the kind words.